Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for to episode 4 of season 2 of Zombieland Saga. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh oh, that was weird. Yeah, I, I mean, come on, Junko. It's going to be fine. We all know she's going to say no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but still, if you want to talk to her, Junko. Uh, this is gonna affect her so fucking much and I'm not really ready to see this because of course from like the preview from last week we see that she's crying and she um is like <laughs> dragging herself or crawling in the sand so who knows what the fuck is gonna happen today. I feel bad for her because she's precious and I don't want her I don't want the, the relationship of I and Junko tainted because of this and, but it seems like it already is and I don't think I is going to be smart and be like yeah I'm gonna leave friend to you and just go back to my old group she is probably thinking about it I mean hell like I think anybody would if they had that chance but I think with her you know she can't she's a zombie like damn Junko? <laughs> no, she just upset about I. Poor baby. Of course. Oh. 
Excuse me. Yes. Yeah, you don't need her. You, you guys are the future. You've done so well without I ever since she's passed away. So, but. Wait, talk to her at least. Yes. Junko, stop lying. <laughs> stop lying, please. Oh, shit. <laughs>
Hallie, y'all making me hungry. Oh, shit.
so pretty. <laughs> but damn, Junko, you didn't really. <laughs> Say. <laughs>
I wish we could have gotten to see it, but psh, no. Damn, I wonder how that's gonna go. I mean, you know, it's only gonna be like, mm, guess what? I'm a guy. <laughs> but whatever happens, it's gonna be so fucking cute. I might end up crying because I love Lily so much. I love the little fucking guys. This episode, oh my god, Junko, my girl, Junko, oh my god, chick. <laughs> I love you so fucking much. Oh my god, I'm so proud of her. For what she did. Honestly, like, I really thought this was going to go a completely different way. That they might have, like, possibly cliffhangered it. And then that next week we would have been like, okay, here's another part into this. And then I would have eventually been like, no, this is where I'm going to stay. This is where I belong, essentially. But, like, literally, the performance. Oh, my God, Junko, honey. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah, you didn't have to bring the guitar, but yeah, I mean, you know, Katana kept saying, smash it, smash it, you know, but not smash it literally, but she was like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Um, but once she, like, pointed the second half, like, right to I, and they just looked at each other, and I just, like, booked it to the stage, like, they so cute, they girlfriends, mm -hmm. they together, they together forever, that's it. Oh my god, like, oh, the feels in this episode was just too much, like, oh my god. Oh, this was like a, a freaking, last week in this week's episode was a heartbreaking, um, a breakup slash we're getting back together, technically, because, I mean, there is no Francis Shoe without any of these girls, and so it would be weird if it was like, okay, I did say yes to her former, um, group and say yeah I want to join you because it, it just the balance would have been off they've all been together since the beginning of this and even with like I and Junko they've been together at the hip ever since the beginning of this series and so when you get that flashback of seeing like every little moment between Junko and I and how much they you know Junko really cares about I and how much I cares about Junko because it seems like it is almost a love between them but it's not really like initially saying it and stuff but I think a lot of people yeah it's very obvious that these two are in love with each other because the way that they look at each other I mean come on now Psh, that's couple shit right there like mm, like oh my god I'm so jealous let me block you right now but I'm just I'm glad that she made a really good the right decision I mean, even though, like, Junko and everybody else, but especially Junko, got hella jealous, and she, like, grabbed eyes, she was like, mm-mm, nope. <laughs> and basically telling Shiona, you ain't taking my girlfriend away from me, oh my god, they so fucking cute, like, stop it. My heart, <laughs> this is too much, and this is only episode four, we're nowhere near done with this. Honestly, like, the biggest thing that I kind of want for the series once season two is over, um... Okay, so we know that the last, like, collab thing that they did was with Idolmaster, but way, way, way before they did Idolmaster, Cinderella Girls, they did a collab with Project Tokyo Dolls. It was a weird kind of collab. It, it was really only um, a title screen collab, and that was it, and they didn't really give them, like, necessarily the girls of Project Tokyo Dolls, like, um dresses and cards and everything from what I remember because I was still playing the game heavily at that time of this collab but what I really really want for this series and they could still do it because if you look at every type of idol series 
it always happens. I do want a game for this series. I would love to literally see Mappa be like, yeah, you know what? Let's go in the mobile business, damn it. And, you know, let's make a rhythm game for these girls. And, you know, one guy, but Lily. Lily's still a girl in my book because I love him so much. Um, but, yeah, I think a rhythm game would be really interesting. Because, I mean, hell, look at, psh, look at Love Live. Look at Idol Master. Look at Bandity. Um what was that one 22 7 um and then like any other idol series freaking i cut you even though like that got canceled like three four years ago because they, they was like yo we don't want this game but i mean yeah it would be really nice to just see a mobile game for it it could possibly happen i'm not 100 percent sure at the end of the day it really is up to mappa and what they possibly want to do for this series and they shouldn't, if it possibly gets to season three, I think it's a good idea. And then they should also make a worldwide, I'm just saying. But that's up to them. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode four of Zombieland Saga Revenge. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode five. Bye, guys.